Hi, welcome to another product test review by Robojax. In this video we are going to test these two step down voltage regulator based on MP1584 chip. This is a tiny chip that can convert with a sub supplementary components around it. So we are going to review these two and test them and see if they can handle the claimed 3 ampere current under different conditions. So both of these can accept 4.5 to 28 volts and the output will be le a little less than the input and it can regulate with this tiny potentiometer here and here. So I've already soldered some wire here. So these two are the input as you can see. So these two wires, so this is the input and the input and these two are the output. and. Uh, with comparing to the size, if I put my finger, you can see that this, the bottom one is twice as large as this one, but even this one is very tiny, as you can see, but this is very tiny. So they can be used in a variety of applications because of their size and because of the simplicity of the circuit. So let's get started with this. So this is the data sheet for MP158. That is the chip that is uh, this module is built on and it says up to 3 ampere and maximum voltage is 28 volts. So, so these are the parameters absolute maximum but the recommended operation condition supply voltage 4.3 up 4.5 to 28 volts and output voltage you see output voltage is less than uh, about 3 volts less and then the output at the maximum and 0 0.8 is at the input. So typical 4.7 minimum 4 ampere current limit. So the width of it is 16.8 millimeter. And the length is 22.1 millimeter. The depth is 4 mm. It has been labeled here as N, this side, and then we have the out, plus, minus, plus, minus. Other than that, there's just a potentiometer, just you can rotate and uh, select the output voltage. So the width of it is 11 mm, the length is 17.3 mm, and the depth is 3.9 mm. So this is now the input voltage, as you can see I've connected it to my power supply and then the output is connected to this electronic load, we are going to test it. But before going to do any test, this is the output from the, this power supply. So 9.47 N voltage is the input, the input and we have 8.63 the output. There is no load, it's without any load. So let me just rotate it and here it says it, it can go up to 27 volts. So I'm putting 26. So I'm putting 27 volts and the output is 12 volts now. It can start at 1.29 which is 1.3. And let me go up. So when I go to the right it goes to the maximum. So 23 from 26 we get 23.28 and then it's being decreased. Now I have connected the larger module and you can see the input is 27 volt 26.9 and the output is 13.8 less check the voltage range and see so 0 0.9 is the minimum that we can get 21.48 and 49 something like that so I was not able to get all the voltages up to 25 volts but this is a value that I can get The input, I've connected 12 volts and the output, let's say you want to get 9 volts. So 
so that's 9.08 that is a 9 volts and let me put 3 amp Three amp and then so now I want to test it with three amp, but it, it has internal current protection mechanism, so if it cannot handle the three amp, the temperature will increase and it will shut down immediately. So let's run it. Of course, it cannot handle 3 amp because you see it become even 5 volts. So 3 amp is out of question. So let's make it 2 amp. So So let's make it, now let's make it 2.5 ampere. The voltage dropped significantly, as you can see, it's almost 8. So 2.5 amp doesn't work. So So now let's test it with 2 amp. Compare the voltage is stable, the current. As you can see here, three minutes have passed, almost three minutes. One minute left. So eleven seconds left out of five minutes that I left it at. 2 amp so this is very hot I can touch it but maybe less than half a second you cannot hold it longer than that but it works with 2 amp so now let's try 9 volts from 12 to 9 and then 3 amp that is 9 volts 8.99 so let me just go for 2 amp and uh, for 3 amp so for 3 amp if uh, this cannot handle 3 amp we shut off will protect this so we will see So the voltage dropped under 7 volts, so shut off happened. So now, now let's go. Two point five. We will see how much the voltage drops. Because when the temperature increases, you will see that voltage drop here so it cannot handle 2.5 so let's go for 2 amp now 12 to 9 there is only 3 volts difference between input and output and 2 amp so you can see 2 amp is being drawn it's steady so 2 amp did not work and 3 point less than 2 minutes so now let's try 1 point 1.5 12 input 
9 volts output 1.5 amp again 5 minutes and see how it responds in 5 minutes very hot I can just put my finger about a second not longer than that so the time is up 5 minutes and 1.5 amp is very good it's hot but it seems it can bear 1.5 ampere at 3 volts difference so it's from 12 to 9 and then make this 5 volts let's see how it handles 1.5 amp so 15 5 1.5 amp let's test it let's increase the current to 2 so I'm increasing it to 2 the current is 2 amp remember this was not 5 but anyways it's reaching 0 but still the The device is continuously working. 24.2. So it's 24 volts and the output is 9. Now there is huge difference between input and output. So let's see if it can handle 1.5 amp. No, nothing is extraordinary, so I assume that, so, so 1.5 ampere is good. Now let's see input 24 volts, output 9 volts and 2 ampere. Let's see. As you can see here at 2 two and a half minutes it just shuts off because it cannot handle two amps so I came to conclusion that after uh, testing it under different condition different uh, input, input and different output voltages with different current both of these in terms of design it seems that this is a little better than that but because the chip is the same so we treat them the same and both of these can handle continuous 1.5 ampere under certain conditions that if you have air circulation or a cooling system or a fan that blows here and removes the hot air it might be able to handle 2 ampere but I have not tested it because within few minutes as you saw on the test uh, that 2 amp the internal protection mechanism kicked in and shut off the system because it got overheated so these products are amazingly well built and they can be used in a variety of application with the compact size and the regulatory capability. So thank you for watching. Please thumb up the video. Please share it. If you subscribe, I appreciate it. Take care.